the week of hauls continues vintage books today hey it's care welcome to montague the lake today i got vintage books from my two-day adventure at saint vinnie's one day full price one day 50 percent off i lost my ever loving mind and spent a whopping fifteen dollars one day fifteen one five dollars one day eighteen dollars the day before about so about thirty three dollars spent i got toys to play with i got craft supplies i got some tim holtz goodies i got cardstock paper i got vintage books books to read storage Stuff I have no idea what I'm going to do with, but I got a lot of stuff. It was so much fun. Cards and cards and cards, like playing cards. Oh, check out the rest of the videos. They're in my haul playlist. Probably the most recent ones around this video. So today we're talking vintage books. And as I said in the other videos that I went through, like the books that I plan to just read the books that I got to read I used the price on the back of the book $17.99 or $26.99 or whatever it was and I added up all how much it would have cost to buy those books new uh, where I couldn't find the price like on these vintage books I went on eBay to see if there was something similar and I added that into the price it, you know because if I wanted to buy it on eBay that's what it was cost and it's almost I think it was 560 560 dollars uh, but I I missed a few so it's close to 600 dollars worth of books um, in that mix of 33 dollars so I just had a ball there's also some storage stuff attached to this video because I don't know where else to put it and I also got this beautiful 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 seahorse i just adore seahorses they're such gentle beautiful creatures he is the color of my i have a lot of this soft teal in my room here uh, i am going to get rid of this thing around his neck though because to me it just doesn't look nice there now I can breathe. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but seahorses just make me happy. So, for 60 cents, or maybe it was 30, I don't know, I brought them home. Float along, minding their own business, and enjoy being a seahorse. Just having a seahorse life. So this thing, whatever this thing is, Reminds me of a Tim Holtz piece of some sort. I can grunge it up and put it on a three-dimensional art book page or something. Vintage books. I found one. It's not the one I want, but we're getting closer. I found, I've been looking for a purple Reader's Digest book. This is not terribly vintage, although 90s is now considered vintage. 1999. What I'm looking for is is the older ones and it's got the pattern i've seen them now on a couple of videos this is purple and it's got a purple and white patterned cover that's what i'm after so i'll keep looking because they had truckloads of new new a new batch of these that they had gotten in my other pictures have changed in 30 years and they took most of the pictures out because in the old ones there's pictures all over the place, but not in the new ones, apparently. But I was so excited, and it's in perfect. Well, there's a little bit of edge wear there, but other than that, it is perfect. Very exciting. Little college handbook. English college handbook. Grammar, mechanics, punctuation, spelling effective sentences oh I just love it love it love it I don't know if I'll tear it up or if I'll use it for an altered book or just add it to my vintage English book collection not sure 
but you know these these books have you know different kinds of typefaces and fonts throughout i just saw some handwriting here a minute ago and they've got little illustrations like letters and whatnot they've got typing and handwriting and book text and you know so there's a lot there's a lot in here that could be utilized for junk journaling for sure if i wanted this book on ebay it's anywhere from 16 to 105 dollars i could not find this particular version of it dark blue cover plain except for the embossing uh, there's lots of them out there from hw fowler same year even this is 1950 originally published 1944 but beautiful caramelized pages i i just really like it this might be in in the other video i mentioned uh marguerite miller has a project although it might be too big She's got this little book that she took and folded every single piece of paper, every single page in half, and ended up with sort of a Rolodex, a place to tuck cards and stuff in. I'll link that below. But this might be candidate for that. This might be a candidate for that, although I think they're too big. I'm going to have to revisit her video and see, and then continue my hunt until I find just the right size little book. But beautiful, you know, caramely pages, nice aged. It's not brittle. They're not brittle pages. So, oh, look at what's this index card. I love finding handwritten things in, in these used things that I buy, whether it be a travel book or a book book or a, I found cool things in file folders and photo albums and you just never know because the people don't really always check the death and life of great american cities by jane jacobs never heard of it myself but again small black this one might fit the bill maybe maybe uh, for that faux rolodex card holder this one with a dust jacket on ebay has a price of a hundred dollars now i always take ebay prices with a grain of salt because they can list them forever whatever they want it's how much is somebody gonna pay for it is the key they'll sit on this they'll keep their price at a hundred dollars and sit on it and sit on it for years someone may come along and say oh it's exactly what i'm looking for here's your hundred bucks probably not though you're probably gonna sit on it but with a dust jacket it's a hundred dollars the first edition thirteen hundred seventy five dollars The first edition did not look like this at all. The first edition was 1961, and this one came out in 69, so I do not have a first edition. I do not have a $1,375 book here, but it's worth something. Now, most people say, oh, put it on eBay, sell it, get it $100, because I, I paid, I paid 50 cents for it, because it was on Wednesday, and I got it half off. So I paid 50 cents for it. I could put it on eBay for $100 and make, you know, a whole bunch of percentage on my investment. Which some people are willing to do. I don't want to have to deal with going to the post office and checking the mail every day. And did somebody buy it? Did somebody buy it? Did somebody buy it? I don't have the kind of patience or time or energy. I will just be happy I got it for 50 cents and leave it at that. One of you want it for $100. DM me direct message me on my ebay account and i will get it to you for a hundred dollars i will this one they only had one on ebay one copy period all these other ones there were other versions of it and and other copies of it and a whole bunch of people had it for sale there's only one of these on ebay same year different cover i wonder why that is but this one is chemistry the chemistry of the covalent bond very pretty yellowy pages old nice old cover the reason i got this is for these interesting bits if you if you watch marguerite miller's 
collage videos she has a lot of what I'll call technical illustrations in her collage work and it adds such an interesting element uh, this isn't exactly what she has uh, formulas and um, mathematic equations and and diagrams and, and those kind of things but there's quite a bit of cool things that I think would add a great deal to a collage especially if you're doing something like a, a steampunk or a celestial um, something sciency uh, there's a whole thing I, I'm not sure what if it's falling under the steampunk category but a lot of the Tim Holt stuff, the guy with the mustache and the inventions and the illustrations and the diagrams and those kind of things, this kind of stuff would fit right into it. So that's why I got this, uh, not to sell it on eBay, but to tear it up and to use it for Marguerite Miller style collage work. And this one was a great find. Ayn Rand, the Fountainhead, holy smokes. I'm so excited to have this. This is just going to go in my literature library. It will not be torn up uh, for junk journal fodder. Um, if this was in the wrapper, like a book jacket, not a dust cover necessarily, but in the wrapper, $695. If it was signed by Ayn Rand, $6,500. One on eBay, this version, this book, has a letter from the author that's listed for $12,950. <laughs> I got it for 50 cents. It's not a first edition. It's not in perfect condition. Um, it's, it's nothing special other than a really old copy of a classic book. So I am not going to be selling it unless, of course, someone just really, really, really wants it for 65 bucks. Uh, we'll sell it for 65 bucks. Again, DM me on, on eBay. Uh, not eBay. Phew, I don't do that. Uh, Etsy. That's where we're at. Etsy. And it, too, can be yours. Other than that, it's going to go on my literature collection shelf. Last vintage book. There's one of these on eBay, and it sells for $28 plus $6 shipping and handling. FYI. It is called Songbirds from Crescent Books. Nice big book. Full of beautiful pictures, vintage photos of songbirds. So pretty. Not only photographs, but the front has illustrations. Very Edith holden -y. Not really, but sort of. That would add, you know, some fussy cutting and beautiful illustrations. There's my little chickadee friend. Oh, it's a reed bunting. Looks like a chickadee. That's how well I know my birds. <laughs> I do not. I don't know my birds at all. What year is this? Came out in 68. This English edition, 1974. So this book's been around a while vintage books that's it for my vintage books and since we're you know not not even anywhere close to the long videos of the other hauls I'm gonna bring in some storage uh, more Christmas storage this gift card tin I just I I am getting more and more use out of these tins especially the ones that open beautifully that is a chickadee those are both chickadees Oh, man, why don't they take the cookie stuff out of it? I mean, for God's sake, there's still crumbs. Really? Why wouldn't you take that crap out of it? This one's red and gold. Not necessarily Christmassy, so I might just keep this one for use all year round. Hinged. I love the hinged ones. So many uses for this nice, long, skinny style, shape, and size. Two more. I think these are both hinged. Whitman samplers from different years. Easy open, Merry Christmas, easy open, hinged, beautiful, and then this giant one, 
giant cookies. Look at the pops. Oh my god. Santa's helpers. I'm going to take my hair dryer and I'm going to heat this sticker and that's going to peel right off of there. So that'll be gone and then I'll just be left with these beautiful puppies to... There's a lot of storage one can cram in here. And while we're on the topic of Christmas, here's my plan. Though plans don't always go as planned, so we'll have to see. But here's what I'm thinking. Because I am always wanting to have my Christmas book done and to work on my Christmas book, but I... I'm always behind, I'm always behind, I'm always behind. Like, spring's coming, everyone's getting ready for spring, and I am not ready for winter to be over. I'm not. I want another month or so of winter. Thank you. Then we can talk about spring, because I'm always behind. In an effort to join the reindeer games and do Christmassy stuff in December, I was thinking... Once a month, I will do, I'll pull out my Christmas altered book and once a month, just do some work in that so that when December gets here, in about 15 minutes, I'll be ready. I can do December dailies. I can do work in my Christmas book. I can focus on a Christmas book in December. It just seems like a really good idea. However, things are really crazy busy around here sometimes and I'm not sure I'll be able to get to it. If you want to play along, drop me a comment in the comments below and let me know. Is that something you'd be interested in or should I just keep it to myself and do my once a month? Would that help you? If we like got together once a month on a certain Saturday and we worked on our Christmas books together. Let me know what you think. As far as haul videos go in this particular series of haul videos, this one's pretty short, but I'm going to wrap it up because that's all I have for you. Uh, vintage books and Christmas storage tins. Gosh, these come in so handy. So if you go to St. Mary's, pick up some for yourself. They don't have to be Christmas, of course, but that's what I happen to get this time around. Wishing you a lovely, lovely crafty day. And a go love up your beastlies. Have some fun in your craft corner. Take a few deep breaths and focus on something wonderful. You have a lovely day. Matek at the lake. Out for now.